everybody, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about how my July Camp Nano went. I had one update and then it fell off the wagon and this is like mid-August now, but whatever. Um, I'm also going to do some updates with my other books, so I'm going to do that first really quick. Um, hashtag goals is I don't know who to query anymore, <laughs> so I might put a pause on that. And um, I finished revising. I got some more eyes on Project Emma and the Summer of Risks. And so um, I might put one of those on the query path next. And I'm debating doing Pitch Wars. I, I'm trying to debate if anything needs fixing in my books. Like with goals, I knew I needed help. Like it was a last ditch effort before I shelved that thing forever. Um, but these other two books I've gotten really good reviews back and so I'm like maybe I don't need Pitch Wars but I kind of like don't want to miss an opportunity so I don't know. Um, but I might query a different book in the fall so looking forward to that. Um, hopefully the person who has my full still of goals likes it and would pick me up that'd be awesome. Um, but if not hopefully the agent that maybe I get with another book will like goals as well. Um, fingers crossed for all the things because I hate shelving things, especially books that have my heart. Like I know a lot of y'all have done that too and it just sucks. So to the Camp Nano, I decided to try writing adult. I was very excited about this project. I had in my brain their backstory. I went to write it and immediately wrote a different like dynamic between them and I hated it. It didn't make sense how things would play out. It was going to make for like a slower not as believable um, path to romance and so um, I kind of finished with chapter like act one very quickly if you saw my Twitter <laughs> on like day one and two all my chapters were like four pages long like it was a disaster um, but I finally picked it back up again last week as of filming this maybe the third week of uh, July or the last week probably the last week yeah <laughs> um, and I wrote part of act two and this was the part that I was actually excited about um, and so it got rolling a lot better I wrote more than four pages per chapter <laughs> and um, had a lot more interaction and it was just it was more fun um, and so today I went back this is early August um, I went back and wrote rewrote the first two chapters um, to give that dynamic the one that I wanted it to have in the beginning. Um, I realized I still need to brainstorm because they have a big external girl goal, but I don't have any personal goals really and any like other subplots. So like I really only have their big competition in my brain and um, this is a two week long book so it's going to be very like daily I need to like flesh everything out by a thousand and I know they all have their individual hobbies and friends but they don't really have other stuff so I need to flesh that out um, my two CPs Bridie and Christy are helping me right now and Christy was like hey remember this character art creating character arts and she's like you need to go read this chapter again and I was like thank you I have all these books literally and then I just put them back on my shelf and I'm like I read them once I'm fine <laughs> I even wrote like cheat sheets for me so it'd be faster to read them and I still don't um what gets me about these two is that they're kind of contradictory to me this one I think I guess you can break this one up yeah I think it's broken into fours and this one is two but I don't think they overlap that well. I have tried multiple times to get them to overlap correctly and they don't. Christy writes in a three act structure. I write in a four act structure. But I'm trying to read her books because she's amazing. <laughs> she's written young adult and adult. And I'm like, okay, brain, like, follow some sort of pattern that, you know, makes sense. Um, and she's always telling me like, oh, okay, they're really happy, that's cool, but you need to add a conflict again. You need to remind them of their lie. And I'm like, just let them be happy, Christy. <laughs> um, I like when characters are happy, at least for a little while. Um, I hate when it's just like constant pummeling. So, especially, oh my gosh, if y'all are watching Virgin River, I hate, I hate that in that show. And then we were trying to watch The Ranch once upon a time, and that was constant. And I was just like, man, y'all are so depressing. Um, but I like when characters get to be happy and banter and like, yeah, I don't really think any of mine are like true 
enemies to lovers, or if they are, they turn very quickly. So that's where Christy and I differ too. I'm like at the midpoint, I'm like, all right, y'all are together. <laughs> and then she's, hers are more towards the end. And so she's got to like deal with all that. Um, and yeah, so it's just, it's different. It's nice to expand and see what other people are doing. I need to read more adult books to see everyone's like beats and plot structures. I think that's going to help me a lot. And I just want to make sure I don't write anything that's just like really boring or like what the reader doesn't care about with the characters. Like I've read a couple of adult books and I'm just like, oh my gosh, y'all are just dragging with this extra info. So um, I want to be really conscious of that, but also do, I just, I have a few adult ideas. Like I, I have my three YAs and then I have at least three adult that I'd like to hit next. And... I hope I can make it work. I hope I can get the word count. I hope I can get the story structure because I really want these ideas out there. Yeah, after I started camp, like for two days, after that I got um, two beta requests, so I was reading those. Actually, was it three? It might, oh no, it was two and then an ebook and an ARC book. And so I had to like read a bunch and my brain turned to mush and I didn't want to write, I didn't want to read anymore. <laughs> I just wanted to like watch TV. So um, yeah, that's why I took a really long break in August. Normally I'm like hardcore on Camp Nano. I'm writing every day. I'm writing 50K plus. This time I gave myself a goal of 30K, hoping that was generous. And then I docked it that last week and was like, you know what, let's hit 15k, let's try. And when I got into Act 2, it flowed and I got there. But um, I'm excited to rewrite this. I have the new goal for it. Like, it would be cool to finish before October, November so that I can read over it and maybe revise it again before sending it to my critique partners in like December, January. But um, yeah. That's the plan right now. I still got stuff to nail down, but how did y'all do during Camp Nano? Or just in general, how is your current project going? <laughs> are you drafting or revising? I hope that things are going well. I watched Bethany Afezada's video recently where she made a big announcement and she was talking about how she had all these plans and goals and timelines and they just weren't working out. And um, I'm like so feeling that right now, but I think I've said in videos before if y'all seen them but I'm just like why do I even have those deadlines for myself like <laughs> there's no point I have three YA's and I can only query one at a time like I was talking with um, My other friend Emily and she was like you could just Andy publish these all three of them <laughs> I'm like I really could but I don't have money for that and um, Yeah, that's that's my uh, stopping point for Andy is I don't have funds for it um, And that's be a lot to learn for business and marketing and doing all the things um yeah I just my brain can't handle it right now but yeah so that's my project update right now um I'm hopefully taking a break from reading to work on this project um I really want to nail it down and get it um if y'all have any author tube ideas for me for this channel for video ideas let me know if you have any blog topic ideas I really need to update my website soon <laughs> Um, so please let me know that too. Hopefully I'll hit y'all with another video, um, you know, sooner rather than later. I think this will be for August. We'll have September. October is writing community convention on October 3rd and I hope you all can uh, attend to that. It's free and I have a video coming out about that with all the links and all that jazz so make sure to watch that one. Oh, what else is happening? I'll probably have another big reveal coming soon as well. And then, yeah, going for possibly pitch wars. And then, you know, Nano's right around the corner again. So, <laughs> lots of things, lots of writing things. Update me with y'all stuff down below. I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in forever because I, like, skipped posting videos in July pretty much. So, I'm a bit out of the loop. But I can't wait to hear from you guys. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!